right, so after a bit of a, a week hiatus where there really wasn't anything out, um, I finally was able to go back to the theaters and watch Martin Scorsese's new movie, uh, Killers of the Flower Moon, starring uh, Leonardo DiCaprio, Robert De Niro, and Lily Gladstone. Um, so, actually there was something out in the past week, uh, Taylor Swift dropped a, uh, uh, well she didn't drop it, but um, just a movie version of her era's concert tours, which I was thinking about going to go see, but I, I would have had to pay extra for it, and I really, I'm not a big enough fan of Taylor Swift to go, but apparently it's taking the world by storm, so I do want to see that eventually, I don't know if I ever will, but, um, so I missed out on that, but I got to see this, uh, which was a movie that I've been looking forward to. Martin Scorsese is a great director, uh, and this is a very interesting story that he was tackling. So, first I want to get into the negatives, since there's not very many, but they are some caveats to be aware of before you go watch this movie. It is not a super sped up drama. The, the, the tension is, it's a very slow build. Um, is what I'm trying to say. This this movie is very satisfying and has a very well emotional payoff, but getting there takes a long time. This movie is about three and a half hours long, which is great if that's what you're in the mood for. But if you're not in the mood for a slow, not very uplifting crime drama, then this isn't going to be the movie for you. Uh, in the theater I was in, uh, after about like 45 minutes into the movie, which was weird for me, but uh, a bunch of people next to me just got up and left. Uh, I guess it just wasn't the movie they thought it was going to be, judging by the trailers. The trailers do make this movie seem a lot more lively than it actually is. But if you know Martin Scorsese and crime and his crime dramas, you know the kind of movie you're getting into. Um, so I wasn't surprised, but I take it they might have been. Uh, and then eventually the people next to me, about at about the three hour mark, there was still half an hour left and they were over it. They were not having a good time. They thought the movie would be a lot shorter and they were grumbling the whole time. Um, so it is imperative that you know that this movie is long and it is slow and you have to be in the mood for it. But if you like, if you're a history fan, if you like good directing, you like good acting, and you don't mind the long runtime, then this movie is great. It is, it does a really good job of building up the tension and just kind of shocking you at all the right moments. Um, especially, it does a good job of building the character uh, of Molly, uh, Lily Gladstone's character. She was a big standout in this, and she's able to go toe-to-toe -to -toe acting wise with DiCaprio and De Niro. Uh, and she her character is very, very sympathetic, by far the most sympathetic character in the movie, and you are in her corner the whole time. So and to have a character to be that emotional anchor for us as the audience was really good uh, and really helped the runtime seem not as long for me. Um, but it goes without saying, De Niro, he's great. DiCaprio, he's he's awesome in every movie that he's in. They're always doing really good. But uh, this actress, Lily Gladstone, she does a really good job in this um, major role that she is in. Uh, Scorsese also, you can tell this is a very personal story for him. This is something that, this is a story that he really wants to tell. And so he really goes into all the details about, he doesn't really, he doesn't pull any punches. He really shows the horror of what was happening to this tribe. And I don't want to go into too many details in case you don't know. But the stuff that happens here is just the, the, the atrocities that were swept under the rug and things that we just kind of forget about that happened in our history here in the United States is incredible how many stories like this are out there. Um, and this is just one example of many s stories like this. And I think it's important to be aware of them so we can learn from the past. So and you, you can tell Martin Scorsese feels the same way and he really wants us to see the intricacies of the relationship between these two cultures living together and how people's greed and hatred and just superiority complexes just overwhelm and just 
really emphasize that how bad humanity can be at our worst. Um, so yeah, I don't want to go on for too long, but I just want to say it's not a big bombastic three hour movie like Oppenheimer was. Um, I do think I liked Oppenheimer more. This is a lot more slow burn, subtle, but it's got some great performances, some great directing, emotional characters, but it is, it is very, very long. And that's probably the biggest issue with it for me personally. Um, but yeah, if this is something that interests you and you're a fan of Scorsese, then definitely go ahead and check it out.